Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, widespread rain continues. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar showing it nicely. Nothing real heavy or thunderstorms or downpours, but a uh, good area of rain overhead right now, and this will continue right on through the overnight hours. You see uh, rainy conditions in Providence. These are live pictures. The temperature has been holding at 63 for the last several hours on a south breeze at 9. Humidity close to 100%. A little bit of fog will mix in with some of that rain as well. You can see the overcast conditions, the local satellite photo. And the temperatures on top, most spots anywhere from roughly 60, 63. So there's no big spread in temperature from north to south or east to west. And again, we'll stay in the 60s most of the night. Tracking this uh, cold front through upstate New York, the leading edge of some drier air out ahead of it. Of course, very humid. You see this area of rain. This will actually slow down. A storm will form on it. It'll actually go out to sea to our south. But because it slows down the cold front, at least the passage through here, it means that an extended period of wet weather coming up for tomorrow as well. Future cast shows as well. Right about now, the areas of rain through the overnight. This is around 4 o'clock in the morning with more rain. Uh, for the commute tomorrow, heading out to work. Uh, periods of rain. You can see some areas of yellow. There may be some brief downpours uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, the coverage is not as widespread tomorrow afternoon. That's not to say it's a dry and comfortable afternoon. Just not as much rain, but at least uh, showers, gray conditions, damp and cool. And this will extend through tomorrow evening as well. So it's not a great day as far as sunshine and warm temperatures. Uh, areas of rain and fog overnight. You see the hour by hour temperature trace uh, showing temperatures in the 60s. Kids heading out to school tomorrow morning. Morning for some, just a few days left before summer vacation. 64 degrees, rain and fog at around 7, 8.30 in the morning. And even when they're coming home from school in the afternoon, at least some showers, gray skies and cool, at least for this time of year, for mid-June. Highs only upper 60s to around 70. And of course, it's not a great beach day. Air temperature in the upper 60s, water temperature 62. Safe sun time, <laughs> as long as you want. There'll be no sunburn weather tomorrow. Visibility 1 to 3, southeast breeze 5 to 10 on the Bay. Waves about a foot high tide Newport Harbor a little after four o'clock in the afternoon. Seven day outlook. Thursday is a drier day, though kind of slow start with the clouds. We'll see a little sun Thursday afternoon, 72. Better on Friday, partly sunny, warmer, 76, and we're setting up for a nice weekend. Now it's not 85 degrees, it's not real warm, but it is very comfortable sunshine. So graduation parties, all that fun stuff, barbecues looking good with uh, daytime highs, mid 70s, and nighttime temperatures in the uh, 50s and 60s. But the cool weather likely for tomorrow. You can track the weather anytime on the Channel 12 app through iTunes and your iPhone or on your Android smartphone as well. So keep the umbrella on uh, standby. Meanwhile, Mike and I are on the town tonight over at uh, PPAC uh, helping out. We were men on a mission, right? Well, that's the title. That's the title. And you can see it here at PPAC. We had over 200 people. There's uh, Peter Cardi there with us. And uh, we had a lot of fun. We were trying to raise money for Crossroads. We had raffles and prizes to give away. It was a great time. Of course, Crossroads uh, helping uh, homeless uh, people here in uh, southern New England, uh, a very important uh, organization. Of course, in, in difficult times like this, in a difficult economy, with the homeless population increasing, we really needed all uh, these people to come out tonight to help out to raise money. Crossroads doing some uh, wonderful things in our community. And check them out on the internet as well. Learn more about it. I mean, we need money all the time, not just tonight. If you ever want to make a donation, you can certainly go online and help out. Okay, thank you very much. Coming up.